Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are jumping in once again and this time I think I want to try out some of the alternate game modes for the first time. I haven't really tried these yet and they seem pretty interesting. Um, so I think the ones in white are the like uh, the lighter grey, the ones we've unlocked and these ones we haven't unlocked yet. Yeah, so we've got casual mode. Um, you have more HP, enemies have less HP, explosions deal less damage to you. Lower requirement to level up. That's kind of interesting. Um, one hit wonder. You die in one hit. Most survival mutations are disabled. Oh, goddamn. Start at loop one. No elite, no hood. Gaw galore. Find and take the secret crown of apocalypse. What are all these? There's a, there's a lot of secrets that I don't know about here. Um, only good weapon drops. Oh, goddamn. Um, survive in a wave-based arena. That sounds kind of fun. Maybe we'll try that. Van fan. Survive against an onslaught of vans. Push incoming vans away with your fan. That's kind of interesting. Uh, smaller areas. Bigger areas. Only one enemy spawns at each area, but the enemy is beefed up. Ooh. Um, areas spawn different enemies. Still work in progress. Kind of interesting. Random areas. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Zombies. When an enemy dies, they spawn another enemy. Oh, god damn. Rocket glove, no movement, just rocket glove, oh my god. Um, start as atom, unable to walk, oh god damn. Each area is filled with discs, determined, oh my god damn, okay. Infinite level, slower leveling. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Also as well, apparently you can enable multiple of these at once. Um, you got the day, okay, so then you got like, the daily stuff. Okay, so I think we're probably going to go for the survival arena here. Um, how exactly do I play it? So, normal, hold, left click, oh, there you go. Okay, so that's enabled now, right? And then it tells you which ones it's compatible with, I see. Um, okay, so I think we've enabled it now, survival arena. Um, and let's go as, who should we go as? Um, find more HP chests, more dupes equal more ammo from pickups. I'm not really sure what that means. Maybe we'll just go with robot here. Good old robot. Ooh, okay. We got start of wave one here. We got a charge laser. We got a pop rifle. I, of course, love a pop rifle. So we'll uh, eat our revolver here. We'll take this and then we'll start wave one. This is... I'm, I'm liking this already. This seems fun. This seems fun. I wonder if there's any uh, unlocks or challenges associated with these game modes. I know there's a few, like, B skins and stuff, or C skins that you can get, based on some of them. But, very, very small area, by the looks of it. It very much seems like that challenge that you can do in the Throne Vault. Um, maybe a little more sort of an advanced version of that. Now, I'm wondering when I get to level up. It's just at the end of each wave, I guess. I wonder when that will be. I wonder how long each wave is. Can I stop the waves when I want to? Is it like greed, murder, and eyes? Like, okay, no. Of course, it's just going to be when, when we've killed the boss, right? Nice. Okay, yeah. So, it, ta it actually takes to a new area. Nice. Okay. Um, and then, what we've got going on here... So I think with the amount of enemies in a small area, I think Euphoria could be good. But I think also Open Mind, if it works, could be really, really strong. Um, and then there's Euphoria there. Um, yeah, Open Mind does work. So we get more choices of guns and stuff, which I think is super, super useful. Uh, also means we can keep our ammo chest sort of ready for later. Um, so, so far, the weapons here aren't really that great for us. But we can obviously chomp the ones down that we don't want. And then... Uh, Toxic Crossbow is kind of a tricky one. It's, it's obviously a bit risky, but I think I'm going to give it a go anyways. And I'll take some ammo for it as well. And we'll start our waves here. Okay, let's let's not use that until we start filling up the area with more enemies. Or we have a big enemy like that bad boy. Oh, definitely don't use it when we've got frogs. Obviously, this is a sewer area, so... We're going to end up having these. It seems that weapon, uh, sorry, ammo chests do spawn over time there as well. Okay. Little bit claustrophobic with um, some of the shotgun boys. We did unfortunately hit a frog there as well, which I'm not particularly enthused by. 
seems to be a little bit of a pain in the ass to kill as well. He's absolutely covering the stage in shots, but that's why we've got Euphoria. Would you get an additional weapon chest here? Oh my god. There's so many froggies. This is really risky. This frog needs to go. Thank god. Who's causing all sorts of issues? A spear launcher. Much, much safer here. I like that. And then, no boss this stage, of course. Didn't get any levels ups there. Now, I'm interested to see how impact wrists is going to work here. I think taking a shovel is probably a good idea to have a, a melee weapon. Blood bullet shotgun. Blood bullet shotgun could be really good, actually, um, thinking about it. Start the wave here. Obviously, it's weak, but being able to destroy shots when there's so many enemies on screen seems very useful. Doesn't seem so useful when I do that, though. But I think Impact Wrist is kind of good here because um, we're able to have a nice way of opening up the area more, giving us some more space by destroying the wall pieces. Ah, unfortunate death there. That was a bit silly of me. Grenade launcher and triple blood gun. Take the grenade launcher in this case. Oh, that chest... That chest disappears when you start the wave, so you want to always take the uh, the chests. I didn't realise that. I should have taken that ammo chest. I was going to hold it until later, but that's not how this works. Oh, yes, please. Oh, the ammo on this is going to be obviously a problem, but this is very, very nice. Like, there's sort of like waves to each wave sort of thing. Did not mean to do that, but here we are. Cool. Rabbit's paw seems like it'd be really good in this scenario. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Right. Um, let's have a little look-see here. So I, I definitely think Bloodlust is going to be good here. Um, honestly, I think the Absorbing Paws will be decent as well. I definitely think that going with Open Mind whenever we can get it is a good idea. Splinter Yo-Yo I'm going to take here. Burr I'll eat up. This I'll eat up as well. Gives us some healing. Splinter Yo-Yo seems like it'd be really good for this. Just there's a lot of enemies in close proximity. These Yo-Yo guns seem like they do a good job of uh, taking those out at a reasonable rate. We now this time don't have poison screwing us over at a mass to a massive degree, which is nice. Being able to get close to enemies using the blood weapons is really nice here. Like some, some more tricky enemies that... Could otherwise do some real serious harm. Frost Pistol is potentially very good. But I'm still going to stick with what I've got though. Bloodlust triggering a good amount here. Not that we need it to, but it's nice to have. Oh, you managed to get poisoned there. I'm not... Maybe you, maybe you just spawned as a pre-poisoned one. That might be what happened there. Oh, uh, okay. There's some, there's some poison barrels that spawn. I didn't realize that. Yeah, let's take out you like that. Let's grab that and eat it. And we've got... Um... Plutonium Hunger is actually potentially kind of useful here. We've got Shovel again here. I think I'm going to stick with what I've got though. Yes. This is very nice. Okay, good bit of healing there. I would like some ammo game. That's why I was saying about getting, what's it called? Um, there's a weapon chest. Get the infuser. I'm not exactly sure what the infuser does, to be honest. It is a, a burr-based weapon. Kind of sticks to them and then blows up afterwards, I guess? Don't steal my ammo, please. I need that. You, you stood on my gun, sir. You have stood on my gun. There's a gold sniper in here as well. Oh, my God. Okay, the boss spawning with all these enemies definitely makes things harder. Like I said, the fact that he stood on my gun isn't ideal. Hey, so we got... Um, I, don't, I didn't actually get to see what that unlocked there, but there you go. Um, so do we want to take impact wrists again? I think we do. I think impact wrists is pretty darn good. Um, this is probably pretty good here. Can we? Yeah, we can trigger it with just a short tap. Nice. 
Bazooka is kind of crazy. Ooh, we do get a, a, a modifier here. So I think we want to go with Herming on this, maybe? On the Infuser. So this one is going to be kind of interesting, because you can kill all these small guys pretty easily. Big boys are, of course, going to be more problematic. Just spawn some higher level enemies as well, by the looks of things. Yeah, damn, this is getting hectic already. I'm loving this though. This is really this is a really fun alternate mode. I kind of expected this this game mode to be a bit gimmicky. I didn't really expect it to be that good. But god damn, it's pretty good. Um Oh for fuck. I didn't realise that boss had spawned bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> I was just completely oblivious to that boss having spawned. Now, Disc Gun. That, that spells trouble to me, and I like trouble. God damn, the Disc Gun's fire it. I didn't realize it was so nuts. Take out all of this, get all those rads going. One thing I will say that's a little, I wouldn't say disappointing, but something that I could definitely see being tweaked with this game mode is mixing up the waves a little bit so they're not the exact same enemies each time. Um, because so far, at least from what I'm seeing, it's the exact same enemies each time you uh, each time you go through this. And it, it, it might be better if it was like slightly different. Morpho Revolver will take that. Seems to always be like a higher level chest. In fact, I think I'll eat my Morpho Revolver and take that instead. Right, we got this for the smaller enemies. Fire it on this thing with the ecstatic elbows. It's pretty good stuff. You can't hit me even if you wanted to, big boy. Ain't no chance. Right, let me try and get this guy. There we got him. Eat that up real quick for ammo and such. Yeah, see there's a pre-spawned poisoned one there. That, that's why things were so difficult last time. Beautiful. That's everything, right? Yes, it is. Beautiful. Okay, thrown but better gun nutrition is probably a pretty good one to take, to be honest, because we're getting so many guns. Take the jaw splitter here. Like I said, open mind is always going to be good for this. But yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be like a lot of different waves, just like a slight variety to the wave spawns. Nice. This is doing a real good job right now. I saw you try to run into that good sir. Will not let you. The snipers are really hotting up the action here. I think that the arena is like just the right size for this as well. It's like just big enough to like give you space to, to breathe but not so big that it's easy. Right. Flame SMG seems really good. Um, although with what we've got right now, yeah, let's let's eat that up. Let's yeah, let's eat the bomb launcher as well. Go a bouncer on that bad boy. Crack that open. Having Bolt Marrow here and Bouncer, it's going to be pretty goddamn good, I think. I think with a small room size as well. 
This is going to be very, very good for us. We should be able to get through this area this time. Just remember the boss is going to spawn at the top at some point. I'm unsure what happened there. There was an explosion, so I'm assuming I just was sat on top of an explosive enemy. That's unfortunate. But yeah, I want to I wanna keep playing this mode to get to the throne and see if there's anything unlocked for beating the throne in this mode. But yeah, I could definitely see myself playing this on occasion. It's not obviously as, as sort of... It's kind of like what greed mode is to Isaac, where it's like... It's a bit of fun every now and again. It's definitely not the main mode you want to play every time you play the game. But it's it's a it's a bit different. It's a bit it's a bit of fun here and there. And I like that sort of stuff. As an alternate game mode, I think that's exactly what it's it's doing the exactly what it's meant to do. Just being a bit of alternate different fun. Cool. Eat that up. Go on through. Um, probably recycle gland is pretty good with the ammo situation. I'll take the eagle eyes as well. Assault rifle, I'm just going to eat. Triple machine gun, however. I will keep. Triple machine gun with eagle eyes and recycle gland. Could be pretty amazing for us here, I've got to say. Now, ammo's still not get a guarantee. It still could be tough for us. But this is a very, very good combination of things we've got right here. Okay, I'm, I'm liking this. Bouncer revolver. Just eat that up. Don't you dare get near that. It's when we're missing shots that's the problem. Recycled gland only helps us if we don't miss. Ow. We all good? We all good. Okay, health is looking a bit scary right now. I'm gonna go with better gun nutrition so that I can eat whatever this is and hopefully, yeah, get some good healing off of it. So that worked exactly as I wanted it to. And then here, back in the shit again. God damn, you took a lot of shots. I'm trying to tap shoot as much as I can to make sure not to waste. All right, make sure not to stand where things spawn this time, because I got insta-killed last time by doing that. It's a little hard to do, because there's not much time you get before they spawn. Auto shotgun seems... Oh, assault shotgun, sorry, seems good. Again, shotgun like this with um, better accuracy. Very good stuff for us. Very good stuff indeed. Um, shotgun shoulders actually seems really good in this scenario. If that's frost, that's going to be super good. Yep. Frost on this thing is kind of amazing. Yeah. Overheal, nice. Yeah, frost on this thing is very, very good. I don't know what the other healer guys do, the, the summoners. I don't know, like, how their additional summoning works. Take out all of these first. There you go. And... Tough Shell seems really good here.
Yeah, this with shotgun shoulders seems very nice. From the little hunter's going to spawn at some point here, so be ready for that. With this setup, I think it's just very much keep firing until we run out of ammo sort of situation with this weapon. Sword gun is very good. Okay, that's a little bit insane. <laughs> I've got to say, that's a little ridiculous. Okay, let's give this one more go. I think... I'm, I'm liking this, though. This is fun. This is fun. Like I said, it'd be nice to have some variation to the waves here and there, but otherwise, a really cool mode. Really cool alternate mode. I'll try to try and actually beat it, but it seems very hard. <laughs> like, you really don't get many choices with weaponry, really. Um, not a ton at least. Your yeah, ammo seems very, very limiting. Like a very limiting factor. Um, and yeah, just overall it seems like it's going to be a tricky bisky. There you go. Right. Um, Eagle Eyes again, really good. Open Mind, good stuff. Heavy Sledgehammer will take. And I think the rest of these we're probably just gonna eat on down. What we need really with this thing is, um, Puffy Cheeks plus, uh, Trigger fingers. Right, any really sort of big and tough enemies, just hit with that thing. Okay, I'm waiting for the, the, the poison frog to spawn so I can just whack him with a hammer. There you go. I was waiting for my moment to shine. Okay, is that it? That's it. Okay, cool. Right. Power craving could be pretty good. Um, increases inverter portal chance by 10%. Okay, kind of interesting. Pretty happy with that. Pop weapon's doing pretty good still. On board with the pop. But yeah, Puffy Cheeks would be really good to reload while we're not using the weapon. And then Trigger Fingers would just be really good for being able to swing it a bit faster. But I'll see if I can get either of those. Ah, oh, for God's sake. I, I had a feeling one of those was going to happen. Okay. Snake gun. Snake gun might be a little bit better than the pop gun here. Oh, a <laughs> snake gun with uh, with eagle eyes is pretty goddamn good. And it uses a lot of ammo, though. Oh, actually, it only uses five ammo per shot. I thought every bullet was an ammo. You get out of here, you. Okay, this thing destroys walls, too. I didn't realize that. There you go. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, Trigger Fingers will take that, definitely. Um, and then Rabbit's Paw seems like it'd be really good. Grab our Snake Gun. Item Drop and Herming. I think we'll go for Item Drop here, don't we? Yeah, this thing is insane when you uh, can get a one-shot kill with it.
I'm liking this a lot. Oh, fucking backed into a wall. Anyway, I think we'll leave this episode there. That was a cool check out of that nerd, but god damn is that nerd hard. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.